Okay, so Loughton Audio sent over some of these new mics to check out. And I have some of their mics before that I've used and they are really, really good. I think they're underrated and potentially overlooked. I know at least in my circumstance, I overlooked them because they were more affordable than some of the mics that I had used before. So I was like, ah, they're probably like cheap, but um, all of them sounded really amazing. So these are the LA120 pencil condensers. Now this is sick because I have been wanting to try, whoops, <laughs> some pencil condensers in this room on overheads. I'm using ribbon mics on overheads right now. So this is really nice. They're going with the, the matte black finish here. And you can see on the front of the mic, we have your high pass up to 150 Hertz or 50 Hertz. And then you have a low pass that does 15 kilohertz or 10 kilohertz on it. And then on the capsule you can actually swap the capsule so this is a cardioid capsule and then yeah you can actually take the capsule off and swap it for an omni which this has an omni capsule in it so that's pretty rad i'm gonna leave the cardioid on here because i want to try this oh look at the inside that's pretty fun Let's see the inside of both of these taking mics apart is very very cool and terrifying so I'm gonna leave the cardioids on here. We're gonna keep it flat. So I'm gonna mount both of these on the overheads of the drum kit. And there's also these little pop filters in here for them as well, which is, look at this paperwork. They, they did a good job in the packaging and paperwork. I just always go right to pulling the mic out and plugging it in. Capsule. Capsules, there's a pair of 17 millimeter hand-tuned Omni and cardioid capsules included. Low frequency sound shaping, you have the flat, the 50 hertz high pass, and the 150 hertz high pass, or the low pass on 15 kilohertz, low pass on 10 kilohertz, which gives you obviously a more punchy, dark, and dense sound. So the SPL on these 120s can withstand up to 130 decibels and uh, 140 with the optional inline pads accessory. So you can get inline pads for these to put literally behind the capsule. 140 decibels is very, very loud. I don't think I'm gonna need them on overheads, but we'll find out. Also, Loudon Audio is a very small family company in California and I mean, it's like five or six people. So they were super nice to send me this stuff. They sent me these microphones a little while ago to try out. I haven't been able to try them yet. So uh, I think this is the perfect time to put them up and see how they sound on a few different things. So let's do the LA120s on overheads. I'm gonna put them in XY over the drum kit. See what that sounds like. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so I put the Loughton Audios the 120s on my overheads and I put them up in XY. XY is one of my favorite overhead positions for pencil condensers. And generally, if you can make it work and it sounds good. Um, but before I play that for you, I wanna play you the microphones that I had set up previously, which are completely different microphones in a completely different position. So of course they're gonna sound totally different. But for context, I want you to go through this change with me. Uh, so I was using these ribbon mics, the N8s from AEA. Okay, so here's the previous overhead setup with the ribbon mics. I'm gonna jump forward to this part where I go to the hi-hats. Now I'm using the same mic pre's on both of these setups. It's the AEA RPQ2 stereo mic pre and uh, now I'm gonna jump over to the Loutons on here so you can hear this difference now it's crazy here we go suddenly I feel like I can hear the kit like the presence the the depth of the toms and the, the snare again not that I don't love ribbons on overheads but Maybe I'd been just sitting on them for too long and these sound really really great and I you have to forgive me I don't know the price of these microphones um, But they are way more affordable. Um, these are actually attainable as far as price They're for budget studio setups and they sound fantastic. So that's them soloed Okay, let's listen to the, them with the full kit now
Okay, so now this is a different drum performance with the same overhead mics, but it's more of a tom, almost loop-based performance, and the overall drum sound is supposed to be much more lively. So here's the overhead soloed on this track. Okay, and then here they are with the full kit. I mean, it sounds so good. There's a there's a reverb going on there. I'm gonna mute the reverb here. Sounds amazing. And look, this is these are my drum tracks here. I have a high pass filter, or I got a little bit of EQ on the kick, and then I have a compression and a transient designer on the room mics. That's it. Sounds pretty amazing. Again, here's the full kit. Okay, and then here's the overheads. The depth of the toms and the snare and the kick, everything just feels, I don't know, it feels much more, um, I don't know, much better. I, I'm really, really digging it. So when you add in those close mics, the toms. We got the snares, kick. Sounds awesome. So anyway, thank you Loud and Audio for letting me check out these mics. I'm really, really excited to have them here. I'm gonna leave these 120s on overheads probably for a while because I'm really, really loving how they sound. As I said before, this video is not sponsored by Loud and they did not have any input on what I'm doing or what I'm saying. This video is brought to you by Sweetwater though, so thank you to Sweetwater. All the links to all of the products I'm using are linked down in the description if you wanna check them out. And just so you know, the symbols that I'm using are all new symbols that I just got from Sweetwater. They are the Sabian HHX complex symbols. And I'm so pumped because I've been rolling with the same symbols forever and it was a hodgepodge mix of things that didn't necessarily go together. And these cymbals sound really, really good. Let me jump to a part here where you can kind of hear them on the chorus. It's a big Tom bass song, so I don't have a ton of it on here, but the cymbals on the kit are fantastic. I got the hi-hats, the ride, and the crash. I think you can get them as a pack. If not, I've got them all linked down in the description. Really, really beautiful. I'm gonna be using them from now on on my cymbals on my kit. So check them out if you're a drummer and you're looking for a good combination of cymbals. These have been tremendous for me. I've just been very lazy with cymbals. I'm obviously obsessed with microphones and the studio side of things, but the instrument, is probably the highest priority of getting better sounds and these have made a big difference for me so link in the description thank you sweetwater for sponsoring this video and we'll see you in the next one okay so now it's recording how do i look how are you me how are you me and that camera and and i am you i don't know i don't know remember when i soloed the microphones on the drums um, Remember when I soloed the I, I played you the microphones, the old ones I was using, and then yeah, I played you the yeah, new ones. Yeah. Yeah. And what what did you think? Did the new ones sound better or worse? No, we're better. I mean, they sounded better. Yeah. What did you like about them? How would you describe better for people who don't understand what better means? <laughs>